Um, my name is James Robinson and I am a senior photographer here at the wonderful John Allen's Library. Well, this is my 15th year working here. Um, and in that time we have developed many different techniques and methods for photographing manuscripts, books, maps, any archive material, museum objects, and in this case, Pali leaf manuscripts. Um, Singhalese ones particularly for this project. And we've developed different methods to safely digitise those, being quite unique items that throw up a lot of different challenges that we're not generally used to with normal bound manuscripts and books. This is the Archive and Manuscript Store at the John Allen's Library. This is where we house our um, archives and manuscripts and we're going to go down and get out one of the Singhalese manuscripts that we're going to be digitising today. So this area down here is one of the areas where some of the Singhalese manuscripts are held that we have. You can see the difference in the size of some of them. MS1, which is stored in this huge box. I don't even know how many leaves this is going to be, but it's quite different looking. So that one's going to be incredibly difficult to digitise. And then you have various different sizes. And today we're going to be digitising MS5. So this is the imaging studio at the Rylands Library. Um, you'll see behind me here we have the manuscript set up on one of our copy stand areas. We have a number of different ways that we'll digitise um, items in the library. Bound volumes and manuscripts, you have book cradles and other ways of doing it. But due to the size and nature of this item, we need to have a lot more versatility to work around it. Um, you'll notice here, this is the camera that we'll be using. It's a Phase 1 XF with an IQ4 back. So this is a medium format digital camera. We don't use any scanners or anything like that. Everything's shot with digital cameras because it's much more versatile, it's much higher quality. We're able to digitize items much quicker than we would do with a scanner. Everything that you see is tethered straight into the computer. So as you can see on this screen here, we've already got a live view of the manuscript on the table. Um, what we're gonna need to do is set all this up um, Using the live view, we're going to have to have the camera much, much higher up out of view. So this enables us to do all of our uh, focus settings and all of our corrections before we actually start the digitization process. So the idea behind the digitization process is to present a digital copy of the manuscript exactly how it appears in real life. So it's incredibly important that we get the colour accuracy perfect when we're displaying these items, which is why we use something like these golden thread targets. So each session we will have this in the beginning of the manuscript, it doesn't matter which kind of manuscript or book it is, we always keep it in. This enables us to check the whites are correct, the blacks are correct. We've got tones there as well, and it also has an inches and centimeters scale across the top. All the other colors that you see and the numbers underneath are lab values where we can kind of hover over these whites and colors and then we can check that they're exactly as they should be. So if I take an image now, we can see there that it's Paid up on screen, I've kind of already set everything up so it's working and if we hover over these targets here we can use these values across the top to maintain our accuracy, make sure that it's not overexposed, it's not underexposed or the colour is completely wrong, like for example this. So I can use this chart to bring it back to its normal proper colour. So when we open the manuscript we're, we're going to photograph everything including the back of this board and the fly leaves at the beginning and the end. Now you'll notice what I've done here is just use some form support under some black just to make sure that the height of each page is the same. So you can see there, so we're going to image this whole area instead of doing individuals. So next 
I'm just going to turn the pages. So I'm just going to make sure that the strings are a little loose. This material, palm leaf, is fragile, but it is still incredibly robust. And you know, it's lasted a few hundred years without really any problems. And sometimes it's a little bit better than paper. So once we get going, it's actually quite a quick process. So here we're starting on the text pages now. I've got to the first page of text in the manuscript now, so I'm gonna take this photograph and then you can see how it comes up on the screen and the quality and everything. So as well as the actual digital file itself, for somebody to be able to interrogate these items online, there has to be associated metadata with that item. So that isn't part of my role, but we do work very closely with the other teams within the library to provide this. So when we're online here, you can see that we have the reference number for the manuscript itself, and then associated metadata. Um, when there's dates provided, that'll be input description, we have languages, we have the medium, we have the size, and then various provenance of where it's came from. So that's really important to capture all of that information so all of our collections are open to everybody to interrogation and for things to be easily found and referenced. The very nature of what we do, it's incredibly important for people to be able to access these items and to be able to read them online and it's difficult for people to be able to actually physically travel to the building and see these items and these items themselves, particularly these palm leaf manuscripts, they're incredibly difficult to handle, they're incredibly fragile and difficult to read. So by digitising those and making them freely available online, it opens up access to anybody in the entire world without having to visit them and without having to handle them and struggle to read them.